The photoelectric effect is the removal of electrons by energetic light. And Einstein won the Nobel Prize by realizing that the energy of the light was related to its color. And so it turns out that red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, or violet don't quite have enough energy to knock electrons off of zinc atoms. But if we go one step further to ultraviolet, we can knock those electrons off. The materials that we're going to use are an electroscope, and hanging vertically in this electroscope is gold leaf. Gold leaf is very thin gold. It's an electrical conductor. Uh, it also is not very stiff, so it hangs under the influence of gravity. The holder for that gold leaf runs up through an insulating plastic collar to the metal plate at the top of the electroscope. And on top of that metal plate, we've got a zinc plate. We're going to charge the electroscope with a static gun. The static gun was in originally invented to take the static away from vinyl records. Depending on how you use it, you can generate either a positive or a negative charge very easily. And the first thing we're going to do is charge the electroscope negatively. When we do that, the charge runs down through the connecting rod to the gold leaf. Both sides of the gold leaf get negative charge, they repel each other, and the gold leaf hangs at an angle, telling us that there's a charge. There's already light striking the zinc, and nothing's happening. The bulb that we're working with, however, is an ultraviolet bulb. That is light that is a shorter wavelength than violet light. What Albert Einstein realized was that that light, because the wavelength is shorter, has a higher frequency than visible light and therefore a higher energy. And it turns out that ultraviolet light is going to affect the zinc very differently than visible light. The electroscope begins to lose charge. The leaves begin to move together, and the ultraviolet light is removing electrons from the zinc. Now, as you're well aware, ultraviolet light can be a problem. We're interested in blocking ultraviolet light, and sunscreen is one of the ways to do that. But another way to do that is just to use normal window glass. And that's important to understand, glass, not plastic. If we place that disk of glass between the zinc and the ultraviolet light, you will note that the discharging of the electroscope stops. The glass absorbs the ultraviolet light. So now we're going to use our static gun to produce a positive charge. And when we place the positive charge on the electroscope, you'll note that the appearance is the same. The leaves separate. We can't tell which charge the leaves have, but we certainly know they have the same charge and it repels. We're going to do the experiment exactly as we did it before. Clearly, no effect from visible light. But when we go to shorter wavelength ultraviolet light, we find that in this case, there's no effect. This is a very important observation. It doesn't seem to be very exciting that nothing happens, but what it's telling us is that mobile charges are negative. We can't knock positive charges off of the zinc. The positive charges are in the nucleus of the atom, and the outermost negative charges are loosely bound on the outside. So we cannot make the leaves any more positive. And of course, the glass has no effect either. So the photoelectric effect is the removal of electrons by energetic light. 